Okay, so uh, what is Kangaroo? Well, it embeds physical behavior directly into the 3D modeling environment and allows us to interact with it live as a simulation is running. And it can be used for various sorts of optimization, structural analysis, animation, and more, including form finding, etc. So let's install the add-on um, for Grasshopper, Kangaroo. And the way we're going to do that is, and hopefully you've already downloaded this, so this will be a, a breeze. Um, you're going to go to the Food for Rhino website and download version 0 0.084. And um, Daniel Piker, the developer of Kangaroo, he pushed this uh, release out for us last night so we can use some new objects that he's been working on. And it's really great, and we'd like to thank him for, uh, for doing that. So uh, if you haven't already, go ahead and download the uh, files from uh, the Food for Rhino website. <clears throat> and what we're going to get when we install this is a whole new toolbar in Grasshopper uh, called Kangaroo with three sub-tabs, Forces, Kangaroo, and Utility, the main part of which is this object here, which is the actual physics engine. This is what's going to store and do all the calculating for us uh, once we apply uh, our physical attributes to our geometry. Okay, so um, let's go ahead and install the, the Kangaroo add-on. And what we're going to do is we're going to launch Rhino, and we're going to use the command grasshopper folders uh, before we even open grasshopper. So if, you've already, if you already have Rhino open, go ahead and close it all down. And let's launch uh, Rhino from scratch. So um, I have it here on my quick launch bar, so I'm going to click that. Right? Um, Rhino is going to launch. There's the uh, notification about the webinar that we're conducting right now. It's really exciting to see that. OK, so I've got Rhino open now. And I'm not going to launch Grasshopper yet. But what I am going to do is type in the command line Grasshopper and look for the command grasshopper folders. All right. <clears throat> and if we go ahead and hit that, we have some options. And um, we want to look first under the components folder. So we click that. It's going to open up a, a Windows Explorer window. And you'll see that if you have any um, add-ons already in place, um, you're going to see them in this folder. Right, and I've also got my downloads folder located right here. All right, so here's the Kangaroo 84 version. And we're going to take these two files here and copy them into the Grasshopper Libraries subfolder. I'll just copy and replace because um, just to make sure that I have the correct version. And you know some of these instructions are already here in the little text file that's included with the download. Um, it, one note, you may, based on your Windows system and your administrative rights, you may need to unblock the two kangaroo physics files that we just copied. And you just do that by right-clicking and going to the properties and saying unblock right here. So OK. And I'll do the same one for here, unblock. All right, so now Kangaroo is going to work, work whenever I launch Grasshopper. And um, while we're here, let's just go up one folder to the Grasshopper directory. And this, again, is under my username and my roaming file folder for Grasshopper. And um, this is from a few versions ago in Grasshopper. It's now stored here as opposed to in your program files, um, which is nice. And here in the user objects, we are also going to copy over the kangaroo user objects into this folder. Now I've already got them so I'm not going to do this part but here are some additional user objects that Daniel has created and uh, shared with us um, through this release and that's going to add another set of objects to our kangaroo tab beyond what's already here in um, the kangaroo physics 0084 file. Alright so all that's looking good. If you have any questions, make sure to just drop them into the questions window. And, um, and we'll go ahead and proceed just as a re reminder of what that command was to get to that location on your hard drive. It's grasshopper folders, uh, one word. All right, and we went to the 
components folder. And notice here you can go directly to the user objects folder as well through this uh, command. All right, so one more time, grasshopper folders, components, and then from my downloads, oops, I'm going to copy these two files over. Make sure I right click, go to the properties and unblock on both of these two files. Properties, unblock. All right, and we should be ready to rock and roll. The other part was that we added our user objects into from here, copy over into the roaming grasshopper user objects folder. Okay, so this was the process we just went through. Uh, we're copying these files over so that they're now going to be a part of Grasshopper.